All right, guys. Episode two. Whoa. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. Mm -hmm. Because we're recording these all at once, we aren't going to be able to see your comments. So if you didn't enjoy last episode, and we haven't read your comments since we're already recording episode two. Nobody cares. Oh. But she doesn't care. I'm sorry, <laughs> Caesar. And mom. Sorry, mom. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Okay. Back to Donut Plans 2. Whoa. Your favorite. We're underground. I don't like these at all. They're your... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, it was funny. It was cute. Do you call that gameplay? Mm. Ew. Okay, here we go. For real. Okay. Got him. Nice. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Got him. Speedy boy. So what other premeditated things did we write down? Let me consult the list. Oh, Amazon. Mm. Yes. Why did you say it like that? Do you not want to talk about that? No. Okay, so... Okay, so... Uh, uh, how do I start this? So I want to give context... I'm a student. I go to a community college, and I'm studying user experience design, um, which is basically the study of how people interact with digital stuff. So imagine how many clicks it takes you to check your email. Uh, a common uh, project would be to either reduce the clicks or add clicks or make you do something else along the way. So like to click on an advertisement or buy something. Uh, anyway, one of the projects I had in my class was to redesign Amazon. And there's this guy in this class who literally every time he talks, he has to yawn because he's just so disinter disinterested. Disinterested? Mm -hmm. Uninterested? Disinterested, I think is a word. Yeah, so disinterested in the conversation and he's so, he's so much smarter than everybody. Uh, so... Another thing is, in that class, when we submit assignments, we can all see each other's assignments, but he never submits anything, so nobody's ever seen his work, and he always gives this sort of holier-than-thou, like he's the best guy in the world and the best designer. Anyway, we redesigned Amazon, and he just started going off and talking about how he removed this, he removed that, because it was too cluttered, and he wanted a clean mm -hmm. interface. We get to the product page... He deleted the buy button. You can't I, even no, buy I, the yeah. product. No, I mean, I don't, even, I don't even understand why he like showed up. <laughs> like, like, what was the thought process at all? So I asked, mm -hmm. what would a person have to do if they wanted to buy something? And he's, and before I basically even finished, he was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't do that. Like, he was just like, oh my God. Whoa. What was that? Okay. Either, either way, it was just like, how do you expect, like, people aren't just going there to look at pictures and prices. They're there to actually buy stuff. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's just, like, super evident of, like, a complete lack of thought process at all. Like, it was, he was just going for, like, aesthetics, and that's really hilarious. Yeah, and in the field that you guys are. It wasn't that good. <laughs> like, it was really boring and lame. And you can tell it wasn't like the Amazon. Oh, hey, wow. Remember when we played this <laughs> last time and I like kept going in circles and circles? Yes. That was really fast. There's a secret here I might go back and get because it's actually beneficial. What is it? Uh, it's called like the top secret area. It takes you to the top secret area, which is right above that. Mm -hmm. And you can get mushrooms and Yoshis and fe feathers and stuff. Ooh. Okay, I'll go back, I'll get a feather, because you need a feather to get that secret, and then, then I'll go back and get that one. Nice. Okay, let's get this boy. Hey, boy. Come here, boy. 
What was that? Funny. Mmm, poor dear. <sighs> so that's the Amazon story. <laughs> it was very, it made me feel very good. Because this whole time he's just been bragging he's the best guy in the world. And then he goes and deletes the buy button. The most... Like, basic part of what Amazon does. The most important... So, another thing. So, I was just on Reddit. And for a long time I knew one of the main sources and big sources of Amazon income is Amazon Web Services. So they basically provide server space for the Pentagon and all these other companies. And uh, Netflix and Google. And I was mistaken. I thought that was their main source of income, but it's not. It's like a quarter. I mean, that's still a significant portion, but... What's the main source? Retail. Selling stuff. Oh. So in 2016, they spent like... Okay. I'm going to say some numbers. They may be completely off. Nice. But the idea is sound. So they spent like $14 billion in expenses to like run that business. And they made $16 billion. So the profit gained was $2 billion. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Good. Yes. It's just... Whoa, what is this? Look oh, you got that. all the green boys. Yes, I did it. Good job, dear. Yeah, anyway, I brought up the Amazon numbers just to show that I was... I can admit I was wrong. Okay? Caesar! <laughs> so Caesar is my friend um, and as of this point I think he's like the only person I've told that I'm doing a Let's Play channel and it's not because I'm embarrassed it's because I know it's not good right now and I don't want to tell my people I guess that does mean I'm embarrassed right? Oh, yeah I, I mean just, maybe I, leave. I won't get the secret I'll get it later if okay. I want it okay let's go Caesar, you like this song? That's you can't good. just talk to Caesar. Why not? I watched the stream earlier today. It was pretty good. Yeah, what do you do? Play guitar. Nice. He's got a new album coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's actually really good. So some of his other stuff I wasn't the biggest fan of. Sorry, Caesar. <laughs> but uh, this latest album, from what I heard, because he, st he streamed it earlier, mm -hmm. it was actually pretty fucking legit. Nice. Yeah, it was really good. I hope he's doing all right. You doing good, Caesar? <laughs> Stop this. What? You can't just talk to him. Talk to your mom. Ask her what's for lunch. No, she doesn't make me lunch. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. What up? Oh, 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 no. Can I, can I float? Oh, I got to get the Yoshi coin now. Do you? My portfolio. <laughs> so the joke is, which we've told in all the other episodes that we've recorded, Oh, yeah. No, we've, we've said it at this point. This is like our fifth recording. Yeah. Um, yeah, Yosh, Yosh coin, Yoshi coin is the new Bitcoin. Bitconnect. <laughs> Bitconnect. Was I talking to you about that recently? Yeah, we were talking about it the other night when, or last night when we were recording. Yes. And it was wasted. Yes. So, uh. Yes, Bebo. Tell us a good a good story. Let me consult my notes. So the other time we recorded, I put her on the spot by telling asking her to tell us a, a feel good story. And she didn't like that. Which is understandable. Nobody likes to be put on the spot. So we wrote down this whole list of topics. Okay, I say whole list, but it's like three three things. Uh uh. How many is it? Four and a half. What's the half? There's like a subtopic. What is it? Well, so school was a topic and then the Amazon thing was a subtopic. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. You're right. Should I continue to talk about school? I mean, live your life, honey. What are people's opinions on community college? <laughs> so, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. Rhett has a really negative a, a view of community college. Like personally or just from like the, the stigma that's attached to it? I think he's embracing the stigma. Okay. What's the stigma? Well, that it's like not a real college. 
So when I applied to my school, I didn't even get an email that I was accepted because it's open enrollment and everybody is accepted. But they could have at least said congratulations or like welcome to the... It's, they're called the River Bats. They couldn't have come up with a lamer name. The River no, Bats. No, uh... That's such a bad name. No. It's an animal that just poops on everything. But bats are great. You don't have a bat as a pet? Well, they don't make good pets, but they're great animals. What makes a good pet? A human? <laughs> a kitten. A fat kitten. We have one. He hasn't meowed. We have two mewed. fat kittens. I don't know if the other one's fat. Um, she's pretty fluffy. We can't say their names. We have to protect their innocence and identity. That's true. They're just babies. Huh. I mean, they're not babies. They're like middle-aged. How old is that in cat years? I don't know. They're nine in human years. How much longer can we expect them to live? Stop. I hate it when you do that. What? Why are you putting a timer on them? I just like to know my options. Oh, my God. Do you want more cats when they're gone? Yes. Oh, my God. Why? Because they're my babies. They're so much work. They're so good. They work. And they're expensive. You're expensive, but I'm trying to get rid of you. I am insanely expensive. <laughs> you guys have no idea how much I have in debt. Still love you, though. That got really dark with the music. Dead. When I brought up my debt, and then it's <laughs> like the music comes in, and it's like, let's highlight his debt with something really depressing and dark. Okay. I know, between the credit card debt and then the student loans, we're really... Hey, I'm going to community college. I don't have that much in student loans. No, I do. I also did go to culinary school, and it was a private culinary school, and it was like $100,000. Holy shit, really? No, it wasn't. It okay. Was like a couple thousand. No, most of my money is spent on uh, stuff, recording equipment and technology and stuff. I did just build my own standing desk, though. Oh, and it is really, really nice. So I was pricing standing desk, and I've wanted one forever. I used to work at Progressive Auto Insurance. I was in the call center, and I would take calls. Uh, and I found out that you could get a standing desk. All you had to do was get a doctor's note, uh, and you would get it in, like, a couple weeks. Without the doctor's note, you'd have to wait a couple years. Maybe, like, a year and a half. Stupid. I mean, I get it. They're expensive. Yeah, but they're so good for you. Yeah. Uh, either way, uh, I've, I've wanted one since. And that was years ago. Maybe two years ago? Mm -hmm. A year and a half? Maybe a year. No, it's... Oh, maybe, the timeline, yeah. The timeline doesn't matter. The anyway. timeline's unimportant. Yeah, sorry. No, I, I'm not... I'm not... I know. Taking it's you. okay, honey. I'm not... <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Um, <sighs> where were we? Standing desks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the standing desk, I've wanted one ever since then. And I've been pricing them for ever since then. And I was like, okay, I'll get one when I'm rich or <laughs> when I have got money or when mm -hmm. I get a better job or when I save. And then I don't know what happened, but I just got stuck on standing desk recently, like in the last month. And I was just like, I'm just going to make it. Yeah. So I made it myself from scratch. Now, it isn't adjustable. It's stuck in the standing mode, but I got a chair, a stool, with, like, one of those foot rings, so mm -hmm. it's higher. So if I want to sit, I just sit in that chair. Um, and it costs, like, a total of 60 bucks. I got a tabletop from Ikea, uh, and if I make another standing desk, I'm not going to get a tabletop from Ikea because it's hollow in the center. I saw some videos recommending getting like a door, a solid door. Ooh, Remember yeah. Remember that guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Frank Howarth or something? Yeah. Is that his name? I don't know. Something like that, though. Yeah. But he recommended getting, he likes, for his tabletops, he likes buying solid doors. Uh, and then I just bought pieces of wood from Home Depot and cut them, and then I screwed it together. And it looks I, really good. Yeah. It's really nice. It's like 40 inches tall. Um, I'm... Five, eight, and it's like the right height for me. It's like the perfect height. Yeah. What are you doing? Ad adjusting myself. Oh, hey, we beat a castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you did that. It's just my brain can only focus on one thing intensely, mm -hmm. or like mostly. So because I'm playing 
or because I was talking and trying to tell a story and stuff, mm-hmm. I was more focused on that. Holy oh God, shit. What was that? I don't know. That's a prime example of me focusing more on, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Are you uncomfortable? Yeah. What is uncomfortable? Uh, this chair. <laughs> on your butt? On my butt. Yeah, no, it's going, it's a little numb. We're going to get tingly here in a little bit. Are you sitting on the, uh, the cushion that I gave you? Yep. Well, you can have my cushion. That's okay, honey. It's good. I'm no, I'm not doubting the the niceness. So we bought. Okay, so the advertising got me. I saw some internet advertising videos about purple beds, and I bought one. And uh, now we have fancy butt cushions too. Yeah, that I paid extra for. Oh god, I gotta finish this part. Oh. Let me finish the level. No! Whoa, oh, I don't okay. know. Okay. Uh, so that is the end of our second episode. Thank you very much, Caesar and Mom. Thanks, Mom. We're, we're not going to say her name because we don't want you to find her, Caesar. Caesar, are you listening? Stop hunting her mom. Stop. <laughs> okay. Thank you very oh. much. We got through a couple of levels. Yeah, it was how good. Much, how much was that? I don't know. Maybe... We beat, we beat a castle. That's true. That was good progress. Sure. Thank you very everybody. Blah, blah, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you everybody for listening and watching. We love you very much. Kiss kiss. Kiss kiss. <laughs>